As a society, we strive to reduce waste, reuse what we already have, and recycle what cannot be reused. But for some objects that we throw away, it does not stop there. Non-recyclable waste is usually associated with something unwanted, but it can be used as a source of energy and heat. And gold can be recovered as well. Yeah, that's where the story gets exciting. The controlled combustion process generates electricity and heat out of non-recyclable waste. The process also produces some leftovers, the bottom ash. And the bottom ash includes a number of perfectly reusable materials, such as aluminum, copper, iron, steel, or zinc, to name a few. Surprisingly, silver and gold can also be found in these leftovers. That being said, how much gold do we exactly recover? On average, it would take about 650 Europeans' annual residual waste to produce one golden engagement ring. Impressive, right? But what about other materials? If we consider all the waste-to-energy plants in Europe, it would be possible to recover almost 1.2 million tons of iron and 250,000 tons of aluminum. Worldwide, the extraction of raw materials is highly energy-consuming, emits a great number of greenhouse gases, and pollutes soil, air, and water. These metals are widely used in electronics, such as smartphones and laptops, but also batteries, solar panels, or wind turbines. Improving the recovery of secondary raw materials through waste to energy can make Europe more resource efficient. And this is how the story goes on for non-recyclable waste.